Hi guys, no fun at all to update today because the grub is wrong. Something in the grub broke our system. So it depends if you're where you are and if you have already rebooted, but some of us are ending up into something firmware like, like this one. This is the virtual box firmware, right? So if I, if I reset this thing, it just goes there. The grub is not responding. There's nothing happening and we have a broken system any broken system can be fixed with yes arch shroot so on the arclinux.com website just go for shroot find your information and this is the one you need there are all the links here i see right sometimes i mention the word and this is really about Arch root and the same here when on arclinksd.com same applies use the search shroot and then of course know the technical word right all information but this is the one probably we're gonna need so this is the information i need cool i'll put it to the right i'm gonna put this one to my second screen and this one is my broken system Right in virtual machine then, virtual box. Okay, I better log out. What you do is you burn, well, probably you'll have a USB from Arch Linux lying around or an, one of Arch Linux around. It doesn't really matter, but I think for most of us, it's gonna be easier to do just the Arch Linux ISO because you end up in a black screen and that's always interesting and Many of the tutorials you find online about Arch Root is starting with Arch Linux, right? I do believe I have one left lying around somewhere in the project, I think. It's all Arch Linux, maybe. I'm not sure if I still have one somewhere. I guess this one, yeah. Voila, the one from July doesn't need to be very recent, we just want to be able to put up. Downgrade grub and be done with it. So any of the ISOs you have, doesn't really matter how old, boot up. So we're going with a live ISO and we do have an hard disk that already contains uh, Arclinux, right? So I'm gonna tell him to boot up with the CD-ROM, which is not there but right it's there and this is a ufi system so grub affects ufi systems not the bias the old systems so with normal this is not my boot up screen right this is arch arch linux install medium and then we have the second screen so the article i'm reading is the article is d.com then use the power of arch root when the computer crashes I need to get my keys straight because, hey, why not? Why is the world not having QWERTY? I don't know. So load keys, DE, Latin. Ah, there we go. Latin one. Well, maybe you don't have to do that, but I need to have a ZT, but maybe you need to load some other keys. Do that first. Now, let's see, let us block, we have this. SDA1, SDA2, okay, and let's mount, and then we need to do, use a device, use the device, SDA1 is 300 megabytes, so that's the UFI, SDA2 is the rest, so mount me SDA2, that's the root, that's everything, into MNT. Sounds good. So it's different as what is on, on the article on articlingsd.com. You have to think about it, right? 30.2 gigabyte, that's the root. I don't have home and all the rest. It's one thing, make it simple. Okay. Then I have to need to mount device SDA1. Basically, that's the uh, U, the UF, U, UEFI or EFI thing, right? 
um, into MNT, whoa, MNT boot EFI, voila. And then we go inside. So arch root, that's basically what we do. We move inside the broken system. There we are, we're on Acronix. Okay, they tell about swap on and all that. Okay, uh -huh. there's explanation about bias as well. A little bit easier because we don't have to mount EFI. So it's all explained in videos as well. All right, so what we need to do is sudo downgrade. Well, we don't need sudo, I think. Let's see, downgrade and then grab. That's our issue, right? So, 322, no go, no go. Either this one or that one, but not 322. Voila. Uh, okay, maybe that's no problem. That's a GD bus thingy. But um, I'm gonna do sudo anyway because I want to add grub to the pacman.conf, and that's not done. Yeah, 297, yes. So there is a problem with the org thingy. Not sure if that's uh, gonna be an issue, but we just try it. Update grub is what we recommend. To be really sure that all the files are there. Plus, if I update my system, all right, he's ignoring, it's okay. He's ignoring the update because we don't wanna go back to the 322. So if th things went wrong, check manually and see that in the ignore packages here, the line here is commented out, meaning it's working, and grub is behind it. That's what we need, exactly this. Grub can't be updated. And then you have to get out, there are proper commands to really get out. I'm not sure if I've included them here to unmount things again. I don't see anything about unmounting here. But I believe it's exit this thing and then you mount and then I forgot, right? Minus P or something. If you really want to know, there is a way to know that. You go to Arcanlinks D, so that's this one, phase six, archway, phase one bias, yeah, audio five. And in the very, very end of that page, it says the switch we need. Like I said, it's unimportant, but knowledge is everything. Minus R, was it? Minus R and then an MNT. Voila. Pseudo reboot, and we hope for the best. There you go. So that's the, oh, something went wrong. I wanna get my system back online. That's the arch shroot solution. And if you update your system, it will tell you, I won't install the next version of Grub. Three, two, two, you're out. All right. I wish you good luck. I wish you more knowledge and find out anything you would like to know on our websites and on our YouTube channel. Right, cheers.